uh, this issue really hits home for us. As parents, it, it breaks our hearts to think that any child feels afraid every day in the classroom or on the playground or even online. It breaks our hearts to think about any parent losing a child to bullying. Bullying is whenever someone harasses someone else. It's uh, usually repeated. Bullying is a terrible thing that needs to be stopped. Bullying um, is a behavior, mistreatment toward uh, another uh, person or group of people. I have seen other people being bullied and I don't think it's right. Government should care about bullying because whenever kids get bullied too much, they'll start wanting to commit suicide. I think the government should care about bullying because the kids who are bullied now may become leaders of the government later. The government should care because the, the kids that are being bullied often become bullies and, and the strain will continue. Government should care because bullying has become more um, violent. I think uh, in my, in, when I was growing up, I don't think it was as bad. It wasn't to the level that it is now. Um, I think that um, there's all sorts of bullying. It's uh, not just students um, in the school, but it's also adults, even in our adult lives. Um, we have a problem with adults bullying other adults in the workplace. I have been bullied in middle school. Yes, and um, it was horrible. You're not doing nearly enough as a nation and, or as school leaders to keep our children safe. Uh, students themselves actually tell us that uh, when they are in a safe environment, they learn better. Physical bullying is whenever the bully actually hits the victim. Covert bullying is basically verbal bullying, except it's behind the person's back. Verbal bullying is whenever the bully uses words to offend the victim. Cyberbullying is sending rude things to people over websites such as Instagram and Facebook. The most important um, way to control bullying, because I don't know if we would ever put an end to bullying, is to educate our students and adults to always report it and to uh, be able to do something about it if it is reported to an adult. Uh, to take action and to uh, not ignore students who say that they have been bullied. And bullying has been shown to lead to absences and poor performance in the classroom. And that alone should give us pause since no child should be afraid to go to school in this country. It is uh, scary because it seems like you're out there by yourself. Uh, especially when that person travels, you know, with a whole group of other people. So it is scary and I do know sometimes people feel like they don't have anywhere to um, turn. And when I was growing up, you know, many years ago, bullying was just that and nobody talked about it. Uh, it still happened, but no, we didn't know what to do, you know, where to report it, no one talked about it, and it just happened and you were being bullied. And uh, so it is scary, it really is. Three million students have said they were pushed, shoved, tripped, even spit on. It's also more likely to affect kids that are seen as different. I had a sister uh, who was uh, on the receiving end of bullying uh, when she used to get she used to get made fun of because of her braces or the way she walked or the way she dressed, and uh, it seemed like I was constantly um, standing up for her as her brother. Um, but I would also stand up for other kids as well. I think bullying is wrong because it hurts many people and not just kids. Wherever you have people, there will be bullying. Bullying is wrong and needs to be stopped.